We hope you enjoy listening to this podcast of St. Louis on the Air, brought to you by University College at Washington University. With undergraduate and graduate programs, part-time, evening, and online. University College at Washington University, offering world-class education within reach. Welcome to St. Louis on the Air. I'm Don Marsh. Gentrification. It can be looked at as a means of neighborhood improvement, but at what cost? It often means displacement, usually for minority residents. On the latest episode of We Live Here, the podcast team looks at one small African-American community's effort here to stay in place and intact. Here to give us a preview is reporter-producer Camille Stanley. Camille, thanks for stopping by. Hello. Why did you focus on this tiny community of Westland Acres out by Wildwood and Chesterfield? So, you know, I had never heard of Westland Acres. Um, Neither have I. Yeah, it was actually a a pitch to us from an outside producer who we work with and um, we were like, you know, if there's a story that you'd like to tell, tell us. And he, he brought up Westland Acres. Um, and we just thought it was really important because in St. Louis, there's there's a lot of conversations about communities, um, historic black communities that have been lost. And we thought um, this one was really interesting because it exists right now. And they are fighting to not go down the path as some of these other communities that have been, you know, kind of paved over, so to speak. Well, they're right in the middle of a high-end development area there. Are they concerned about being kind of overrun, developers or what have you? In a way, they already have been. I mean, um, you know, 50-some-odd years ago, it was a very rural place. This is in West St. Louis County, um, sandwiched really in between um, Wildwood and Chesterfield. And it's a, um, uh, it's, it's about it's it's land that was settled by a former enslaved person who set aside a bunch of land for his family and wanted to have this this legacy. Um, and as the years came about, it never incorporated though. So as years came about, um, you know, municipal government started coming in and they kind of annexed the area. And so it's it's a um, it is a community, but it is kind of caught in between. Um, a lot of more higher end developments in in suburbs that have grown up around it while it's sadly suffered and not gotten all the amenities as other people. So what are they trying to do? How are they trying to take take their place in this in this area? So they've had long standing plans for development of their own and their idea was they really wanted to create um a, a haven for all people from all different types of backgrounds and all different types of incomes, which would be more of a, a mixed use affordable housing would be included. Um, and as you know, uh, wealthier people started moving in and started having these big houses when they caught wind that that was in their plan. Um, that was in Westland Acres um, plan. They were like, oh, we don't really want, you know, affordable housing and things like that. So their efforts have been stymied by some resistance, but also, um, they were affected just as much by the housing crash 10 years ago. Um, and so we don't really know what's going to happen next. How did the housing crash impact them? Well, um, they had a developer lined up who oh. was going to work with them to create um, kind of their vision for um, for their land, which would, again, would have, which would have included a bunch of different types of income level housing. Um, but after that, the bottom kind of fell out. And it's taken them this long to kind of get more interest. Where do they go from here? Where do they go from? We don't know, but uh-huh. they don't want to become like some other um, neighborhoods in, in the St. Louis region where, you know, they're they're talked about, they're mourned, you know, Mill Creek Valley and Laclede Town and Meacham, Meacham Park, Park and, yeah. you know, the area where that, you know, Target and Trader Joe's is in Brentwood, that used to be a middle class black neighborhood. Yeah. I know it's been on, you've talked about it on your show before. Yeah. I want to just change the subject in the moment or so that we have left. You've done reporting and you've been on this program talking about Latasha Johnson. She's the woman whose uh, bathroom ceiling collapsed and she was fighting the landlord refusing to pay rent. She lost a big court battle this week. She did. She lost and at the uh, Missouri Supreme Court level. This literally just happened um I think the court decision came down on Tuesday, and of course yesterday was a holiday. So um, we haven't had a chance to talk with her yet, but we will be following up with her um, and hopefully updating people on her story and and what, if anything, comes next. That that, that whole case centered on the fact that uh, because she wouldn't pay her rent in protest until something was done, that she was evicted. Yeah, actually it had to do with uh, there's a a practice in Missouri where tenants are supposed to, before they could sue their landlord and raise a defense, they were supposed to put their rent money into escrow. Um, And she didn't do that. And so they – 
she lost her case. Well, that's something I'm sure that uh, you and Tim will be following up on. We definitely uh, will be as soon as I get out of this chair. uh, (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Well, Camille Stanley, thank you so much uh, for being with us. Congratulations on the work you guys are doing. I can't say often enough uh, how proud everybody is of what you guys are doing. Thank you so much. And the prestige you're bringing to the station. Yes. Thanks so much. That's Camille Stanley of We Live Here. You can find the latest episode of this podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Support for We Live Here comes from the Hammond Institute for Free Enterprise at Lindenwood University. Archived versions of past St. Louis On the Air programs are available for download or podcast at stlpublicradio.org slash stlonair. St. Louis On the Air is a production of St. Louis Public Radio 90.7 KWMU. Thank you for listening. I'm Don Marsh. Support comes from Missouri Forest Products Association, committed to sustainable and sound conservation of the state's forests, which support more than 41,000 Missouri jobs, resulting in a $10 billion industry. Choosewood.com.